the tribute to Jeremy Wiston, change still needed across youth football. Last weekend marked a difficult period for the family and friends of Jeremy Wiston as they remembered the talented youth footballer a year on from his tragic passing. The former Manchester City Academy player was found hanged at his home in Withentia, Manchester, on 24 October, aged just 18. Jeremy was undoubtedly a talented individual with great potential to excel. All the tributes that flooded in remembered him as a well-liked, friendly, and happy teenager. A knee injury he suffered, while at City, derailed his progress and led to him getting released. Despite going on trial, he struggled to find a new club due to the timeout injured. His death will forever be remembered as more than just a tragic headline. While the footballing community united to offer their condolences and support, the grave shortcomings of our player care system were laid bare for all to see. Mental health cannot be a taboo subject in any walk of life, especially football, where mental pressures are so often masked by physical demands. From such a young age, players are put on a pedestal due to the impressive abilities they possess. For many, it is all they have known since the tender age of eight. The idea of rejection or not being good enough in any field is tough to take at any age, and many of young players deal with it during the most crucial years of their lives. Personalities of the individuals often become synonymous with the profession, as they are recognized for being footballers and belonging to particular clubs. When this is no longer the case, many released players often speak about the struggle to find their identity and purpose. As the first round of the FA Youth Cup kicked off this week, it is worth noting there are up to 10,000 youth players in the academy system at any given time throughout the age groups. It is difficult to envision just how many players could find themselves in a position similar to Jeremy's. Arsenal and Chelsea icon Ashley Cole described academy football as like a cauldron regarding the intense commitments they make from such a young age. He spoke of the positive impact playing for two different teams, as well as Arsenal, during his youth career had, I had different people and environments to be around. Nowadays players are tied into the academy phases and with such an intense schedule can only play in that sole environment. Many of these players come from a simple, working-class background, a major factor in the pressure they face. With finances in football at an all-time high, professional contracts are often seen as a golden ticket, a way out for entire families. With so much riding on a life-changing opportunity in an industry where only a handful make it, it is no surprise how severely players become affected if they do not reach their goals. Jeremy's closest friend Terry's Dolan is enjoying a strong start to the season with Blackburn Rovers. He scored their second goal in a 2-0 win against Reading over the weekend, dedicating his goal to Jeremy and his family. The winger paid tribute to his brother on Instagram, one year ago today bro, life really turned upside down. My heart breaks every day, love you so much bro keep watching over us all. I'll see you on the other side brother. I can't wait to see you again. It is impossible to imagine the unbearable pain Jeremy's parents Manila and Grace Whiston are going through as they cope with his loss. They will not let his death be in vain as they use his spark to campaign for change to the system in the hope that no families have to experience what they are going through. While the heartbreaking event has increased the number of conversations and urgency to improve player care, more still has to be done. It is important to highlight and understand issues, but it is another thing to be proactive and take the necessary action. More initiatives and educational programs need to be made available for both players and parents as the journey through football is a constant learning process. Whether the answer lies in reducing the number of players in the academy systems, increasing the age players need to be before signing to clubs, or perhaps a combination of measures, remains unknown. However, more responsibility needs to be shared between clubs, sporting bodies, and independent regulators. In an industry